It's a beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. And of course, you see that uh, we are coming at you live on the MITV uh, channel 43 on uh, UHF. Now, it's quite interesting that we're back on UHF. For those who have missed us, we definitely have missed you too. And of course, you can still watch us on DSTV 255 um, when we're streaming. We're streaming live on Facebook or on uh, YouTube at MITV Nigeria. My name is Oluwato Misi, and with me this morning is... Uh, Yinka can I ah, call my name now also. <laughs> what are you Actually, feeling like? I'm not going to mention your name by yourself because if you mention some people's name, they will start telling you. <laughs> you know, it's quite interesting. Happy Democracy Day again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 you see, it's 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 good, but with all the, it's just unfortunate that with all the insecurity, the fear, in the atmosphere, and all of that, I tell you, it's some sort of low key. It's been it, it, this this particular year it's been so much played down i begin to ask myself is it because it fell on a sunday or because what's really you know, the problem is? i think a lot of news had gone round way yeah. before that um you know talking about the kind of violence that is likely to occur people had speculated that it was going to be violent uh, people were going to be killed or mm. people were going to be attacked oh, that's true. we had people credible um people you know, people who are very diligent at their work who said to us that they cannot afford to come out or come to work because of the kind of environment they're living in and the kind of environment, uh, you know, dictates how porous, you know, it will be. Yeah, it and then be. sometimes how dangerous it is to move at night. So for those who are to work at night, even in the broadcasting world, majority of them either had recorded much earlier mm. or they didn't come at all so Honestly, um, yeah, people, think, people were scared really i think that was why i was really downplayed, downplayed yes mm. but well good to know that at least i don't know i've not seen the news this morning mm. at least uh no no anarchy you say no you say really 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 you say uh, 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 no, uh, no uh, like you said <laughs> no I, I just i just do i i just pray that not there the, is really no no, no cause for alarm yesterday so okay at, at least we can that's of course we can there was that. no cause for alarm as to all the speculations of violence and mm. what could have happened yes all of that was you know but but, but, but but at least the, but uh, unfortunately the fallout of the uh, 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 massacre you know mm. i think a lot of people uh, did not go to church yesterday uh, because of the fear. let me be frank with you Nika Kenny. if you were in Owo yesterday i tell you would you go to church i tell okay, you okay please you're not even in being in lagos let me ask you if you were in usho is the next small community to Owo and would even, you go to church? Even, even being in lagos you know like i was saying last Look, week, we went that, online yeah it's like i was saying last week that uh, you know, it, as uh, spiritual as I am, I'm be I was I'm beginning to like hey, this church church things. Hey, God help us because Thank if, God for if the kind of church I attend, if it's becoming uh, our so, online services, yeah, nobody we, discriminates that you're online. Nobody discriminates that you're online. Uh, but the thing is that some people they have to some people have to be there to do the online service. That's the way it goes. It, it, because in my, own church, so uneasy, yeah, <laughs> in my own church, in my own church, I have to be part of the people. Where you are going, don't take prayer. <laughs> but God, God, we just pray yeah. that God in his oh, infinite, know. infinite mercies. And we'll honestly, continue. that's the prayer. That's, that's really yeah, the prayer. We'll I think one of the biggest reasons we should be going to church right now and possibly gathering for any reason and praying in our private countries yeah. is to pray for maximum protection because it's not the fault of the government that some people have decided to go on the rampage and kill innocent people mm -hmm. at the same time um the, the people who are doing these things do not um, they, they find all kinds of irritable reasons to justify the senseless killings that they have been yeah. uh, going about doing. i think we should just generally pray for nigeria we should I think pray, so. pray for nigeria we really 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 and that's something in my church i want to say that we we have been doing at every point in time really praying rigorously for, for nigeria the country. but you know Tony, so before we go on having said that we cannot but say congratulations to our very dear yeah interesting <laughs> i thought it was going to be here 
said this morning so we could sing for him. Uh, he's a jolly good fellow. I just but knew. You know. I just some some somewhere behind my head. You I knew, knew it wasn't going to make it. Wasn't it. Gonna, it was it was you know the preparations and everything and you know the, 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 the event and all of that and I'm sure that as at yesterday you will still have to be sort, sorting some of some the things of the uh, out mm -hmm. because I saw him I, I saw him sending some pictures to me and all of that. But I should I would say that it was a very 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 well organized event it was a beautiful event it was glorious it was you know i saw i saw she saw in a different light and you know like i sent him a message after the event that i was so proud of him i was i felt so proud i felt so proud to be associated with him mm. i felt you know you know i just i was happy for him mm. you know so Congratulations. Congratulations. He's a new, he's a new chairman. chairman, Icon Ikeja District Society. Um, we're so glad that you are achieving greater fate. And of course, uh, we will celebrate you because you're one of the biggest contributors to yeah. national discourse. Mm -hmm. you, you do not shy away from speaking the truth. And uh, you're always there whenever we call. So, of course, you know that you would have to cost me to send somebody to come and cover the event. So yeah. I definitely had to do that for him. And I thought you, I thought you would even move here this morning because I would have, I would have demanded a, a breakfast, <laughs> a breakfast from him. Yeah, well, because you know, I did not eat on Saturday. Would you have heard when you were anchoring the events? Ah, but I anchored, uncle. When we finish anchoring, there cool. was really part you. I know there was hey, part you. Party. But, but fortunately for me, I, I was in the town, I came around. Yeah, that's and, what I'm telling and you. I was on, and I was on air. You know, I was on news as well. So when I just you were just me news. about the old eating thing, I wished I could duplicate myself, read the news, but it was, it, it, and it, still run all the it, way. It was a dance that, for me, you know, you after, the, the, after the, the, the corporate event, for me, the dance, it's been a long time I really danced like that. Yeah, I love the is. band. And, you know, it's been a really, really... In fact, my girl that I went went with was like, ah, ah. she was just... When we got to, to the cash, she said, ah, mommy, your leg. So your leg was not paining you. You were dancing you were like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at some of the stories. The federal government did promise that uh, insecurity would be something that can be tackled when we, as a people, speak with one voice and condemn it. And when we, as individuals as well as the government also look out for flashpoints look out for information um you know pay due attention to our environment and single out those um unscrupulous elements and maybe an iota of uh, disturbance I and mean, you do not take it for granted you report to the appropriate authorities most times you can get to nip in the butt any of those issues that may end up escalating into big time issues or insecurity problems later for the community so yes it's your responsibility it's our responsibility i didn't say it president mamadou buhari said it yesterday when he delivered his independence uh, pardon me is democracy speech the fourth time was celebrating democracy day in nigeria and it's quite interesting that uh, for four years consecutively across the states of the federation we are celebrating democracy day on the 12th of june together as a country let's take a look and listen to president mama jipwari and when we come back we'll share with you the stories in the papers and an occasion to celebrate freedom and unity of our nation from 1999 we consistently celebrated democracy day to mark the end of military rule and the return of power and control into the hands of those freely elected by the people on this day nigerians recommit themselves to ensuring we protect and preserve the ideals of democracy. In 2018, we moved Democracy Day from 29th of May to the 12th of June. This change was to remind all Nigerians of one free election after which the presumed winner, along with the Nigerians, were denied their rights and their choice. On June 12, 1993, Nigerians saw the best in our citizens as we all went to, out to vote peacefully. By June 24, 1993, we also saw the worst of our leadership 
as the elections were annulled. We must never forget the sacrifices of the heroes of Nigeria's democracy during 1993. Their patriotism and peaceful struggle should guide our actions, especially when it comes to electing our leaders and holding them accountable now and in future. Hello Nigerians, this is my last Democracy Day speech as your president. By June 12, 2023, exactly one year from today, you will already have a new president. I remain committed and determined to ensure that the new president is elected through a peaceful and transparent process. It is important for all of us to remember that June 12, 2023 will be exactly 30 years from 1993 presidential elections. In honor and memory of one of our national heroes for democracy, Chief MKO Abiola, GCFR, we must all work together to ensure this transition is done in a peaceful manner. I am hopeful that we can achieve this. The signs so far are positive. Recently, all registered political parties conducted primaries to select their candidates for the 2023 general elections. These primaries were peaceful and orderly. Those who won were magnanimous in their victories. Those who lost were gracious in defeat. And those aggrieved opted to seek judicial justice as opposed to jungle justice. I followed the party primaries closely from the state level to the presidential level. I was very impressed to see across all the political parties that most candidates ran issued based campaigns. The language and the tone throughout were on the whole measured and controlled. Another positive that came from the 2022 party primaries was a significant increase in women and youth, particularly across all parties. I was very pleased to see this development. This augurs well for the future. These trends clearly show the level of maturity our democracy has achieved in the last 23 years. As we move into the general election campaign season, we must sustain this mature attitude to campaigning and ultimately voting. We must never see it as a do or die affair. We must all remember democracy is about the will of the majority. There must be winners and losers. I will therefore take this opportunity on this very special day to ask all candidates to continue running issue focused campaigns and to treat opponents with dignity. As leaders, you must all showcase high character and never forget that the world is watching us and Africa looks up to Nigeria to provide example in governance. The tone you set at the top will surely be replicated in your followers. For the voters, I am pleased to inform you that in the last seven years, our government across all tiers has made significant investments to reform and enhance our electoral laws, systems, and processes to safeguard your votes. The executive, legislature, and judiciary were and still remain united and committed to ensure those reforms are fully implemented in the 2023 general elections. 
fellow Nigerians, your right to choose your government will be preserved and protected. I know many of us are concerned with the rise in insecurity due to terrorist activities in parts of the country. As a government, we are working hard to contain and address these challenges and ensure that the 2023 general elections are safe and secure for all Nigerians. To achieve this, however, we must all contribute. Papers today. The Nation newspaper begins with uh, just above the name plates gunmen kill 11 in Benue communities. I told you. 50 abducted in Sakoto. Democracy Day. We've made progress, says federal government. Fourth anniversary marked in Abuja State. Tinubu campaign organization disowns fake manifesto. You saw that thing making the rounds. Quite unfortunate that so many. I saw people, the manifesto. So it many is, people actually. It's fake. Yes, so many media organizations also jumped on it. And it was fake. Umai under fire for attacking Oaneze President uh, Obiozo. You have Tinubu's candidacy based on track record, says APC youth leader. So, uh, Supreme Court justices deplore poor service conditions. Jurists write protest letter to the CJN. States to share World Bank's uh, $750 million facility. Bonafes, Equinife, six others just so for Senate Majority Minority Leaders Post. As uh, the banner headline says, Southwest governors draw battle plan against terrorists. Um, riders like our church killings ignite action three day morning for our victims. Okada riders influx to be curtailed. Let's look at the punch. All right, the punch newspaper is coming with the lead story. <coughs> APC may unveil. Tinumbu's running mate on Wednesday, on Wednesday, sorry, uh, party focuses on North East. Party won over Muslim Muslim ticket. Majority leader says no cause for alarm. <coughs> v Vice President should come from North East. Governors focusing on the zone. Ado Dogua, Ado Dogua lawmaker. All right, APC may concede Senate President to South East. Speaker to North East. Are we talking about the Senate President? next year or which one are we talking about this one or next mm. the one that is coming up after elections <laughs> all right it's it's so it's so interesting and above <laughs> the name plate we have democracy day governors demand credible elections opc don't decry feeding bottle federalism it will take a century to produce another mko abiola says family insecurity corruption threatening nigeria nothing to celebrate Oh gosh, all right. Blackout worsen as a grid collapses fifth time in 2022. Honestly, I don't want to go there. You know, we, we've been, it's been about uh, two weeks now that uh, we, we've been experiencing the blackout and, um, you know, it's and been. And then they give us light and then they punish us for the next few days. Honestly, <laughs> I knew we were, we were coming to this place. And the people like the, they have been saying things like, um, uh, thank God it's not a grid this time. Thank God it's not a grid this time. <laughs> Low and build, it is the grid. Okay, and the uh, uh, picture story here, we have our massacre. Churches record low turnout. Beef up security. Can't hold special prayer. Federal government was wrong to shut Nigerian borders. Deputy President Fred Forwarders. That's a statement by Deputy President of the Fred Forwarders. Strike. Federal government meets us today. SSANU on Friday. Club shooting. IG condemns burner boys, police escorts, others probe. And honestly, I don't want to go into this story because it's it's really a long you shot. Two people. Yes, well, IG, you are saying. It, okay, let me just then. Cardinal Rivers, thirty others attract zero foreign investment in first quarter, and our uh, EFCC officials alleged, allegedly tortured Lag Lagos club goers forced out naked couple oh my god wow 
Oh my God. Oh my Check God. Check that again. The EFC, are they sure they are EFCC officials that did that? Were they going, were they after somebody? Probably they got a tip that the person was there. Hmm. And then they first started naked couple. Yeah, you know, being a couple, I don't think I mean, husband and wife, you know, a couple as in probably I know. they were together mm -hmm. and all of that. But I, I really, the way we take, uh, the way we go about um, enforcing our uh, security uh, apparatus honestly. sometimes can be insane. Oh, it's not a father figure in Oshun APC. He plays politics of division. My God, that's coming from uh, uh, Arek Beshalat's uh, faction. Of course, who else would say that? Right, so let's take a look at the Guardian newspapers, getting more interesting. Um, let's take another commercial break. When we come back, I'll be looking at the Guardian. Can't insist. Will soon name top Nigerians behind pipeline vandalism, says NSCDC spokesperson. Emulator Biola saved Nigeria's democracy. Afeni Ferry Shoyinka Adams bemoans state of economy governance 23 years after democracy. Sawolu sacrifices of June 12 responsible for today's democracy. Implement uh, Abiola's manifesto family, tells the federal government. PDP Tasker uh, Buhari APC on promotion of civil rule. Yakasai. Nigeria needs to sit up, catch up with Malaysia and Indonesia. PDP caucus moves to endorse Wiki as Atiku's running mate. Sarap task Atiku, Tunubu others on asset declaration vote buying. Leave behind uh, credible elections in 2023. CDD advises Buhari. There's nothing to celebrate on Democracy Day. Asu declares. Uh, declares. Right? Those are the stories that made the front page of the guard. Nigerian Tribune this morning, our attack, Southwest governors declared three-day mourning to fly flags at half mast in regions, public buildings, official residences, and expressed grave concern on the influx of Okada riders in all, into all parts of Southwest. Uh, can organize interdenominational service for victims. We will not be silenced by cowardly acts. That's coming from Akedolu, honest, Ar Akedolu and low turnout in churches. Honestly, I want to give it to uh, the Undo State um, uh, Governor. He's been on security, security, and he's still standing on his uh, grounds about anti grazing law. And yeah. you know, despite everything, he's still you know, giving the people confidence that is on top of the matter. And we will uh, give it to uh, um, Ondo State Amotekun. They are really, really on top of their game. They are on top of their game. You you heard the story last week. Uh, they caught yeah. a, a trailer of uh, people with ammunition and all of that. Okay. All right. Suspected elders killed 11 in Benue. Bandits abduct 30 wedding guests on Sokoto Zamfara Highway, kidnap four farmers in Undo. Are negotiations with federal government to be concluded soon? That's coming from ASU, and I say a big amen to that. And the LEA arrests 39 in Abuja raids, destroys hectares of cannabis farm in Edo. And the um, equity poll IGP deploys four AIGs, three CPs, mobile force commanders, the IG Kokumo to lead team, and tension as APC SDP supporters engage in bloody clash. And hmm. them, above the nameplate, we have Democracy Day, and Nigerians must remain resilient, committed to democratic ideals that's coming from governors and um not a favor to produce uh, tinumbu's running mate and apc legacy parties struggle for slot pdp pdp reps caucus to endorse wiki as atiku's running mate what do you think about that atiku, atiku, oh, i don't uh, think uh, they're just looking at picking someone from the south i think it's a matter of who can withstand, who can increase the spending power of the PDP in that election? Because um, Wiki, another big spender during the PDP primaries, who also allegedly, you know, doled out some... Don't let the PDP allegedly people come and, come and carry you this money. <laughs> allegedly doled out, you know, certain amounts of uh, dollars. 
Atiku, another big spender over the years, has been one of the biggest spenders in PDP. Well, Tinubu also has been alleged to be, you know, to have dollars, uh, uh, dollars also. That's what I'm saying. I said, so, so imagine a combination of so the okay. idea of PKWK. Tell me, by 2027, probably I'm going to suspend media and try to be a delegate. No, 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 we won't even start like that. I think, How do we go? I think in 2027, uh, I will will you from 2023 anyway. I'm going to will you to one of them as either the third wife or the fourth wife. Uh, uh, I'm going to collect your bride price. You are not even nice at all, you are not nice. But uh, hold on, hold on. Nice. Wouldn't you rather I will you to somebody who obviously can pay me like $200,000? just for willing you to him yeah. and see if the person can give you to that just no, imagine no, 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 nice. the billions yeah, no, no, of nice. dollars the person can give you no no, no, no just nice. just imagine it no, as no, in no, nice. calculate the dollars in your head now uh, yeah, no, nice. hey, hey. what other position is bigger than the wife of somebody who is giving no dollars honestly because the way the way politics and politicking the way it's, it's going, played in this part of the world uh, it, it's mm. it's amazing it's really really amazing and the tussle and all of that and um i think um there was a statement last week did it come from the ex-president um, jonathan uh, ad advising uh the candidates now that mm -hmm. um, they should please uh, that avert uh, shedding of blood that, that you know their ambition should not um, take away people's lives and i hope uh they will take uh, to that because they, honestly one of the things President Mahmoud Rubari is also excited about is the fact that this uh, entire process came and went smoothly. And uh, I, I, I would say that, like I said last week, I would say that I really admire his position on uh, the, the APC primaries because it would have been a, a disaster if A mm. had taken on to one side and, you know, left yeah, the other side. It would side. have been. Yes. It would have been a really big disaster. Exactly. A really, really big disaster. And but, of course, uh, we do know that whenever we talk politics, um, we have to play our part as a people. Quite a number of people are still finding it difficult to go collect their voters' card. And I'm just wondering, are we going to vote on Twitter and Facebook? No, I think they, there will be an extension. There yeah, should they're be considering an ex extension. They've and deployed more I, I, I've offices said and equipments to Lagos as well mm. to make sure people can go register and, of course, get their voters. Honestly, I haven't said that. I, I must credit uh, Nigerian youth for uh, the good initiative they are taking all over the 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 nation you know like uh you know some set of youth uh came together i think it was on saturday or is it going to be next week saturday for a concert a, a concert a free concert you know at uh, the tbs uh, oh it's not a free concert it's a pvc concert and that's it now that's it that's it now and they, they insisted on the fact that you did your pvc and if you really do not have you can come and register honestly it, and you know a lot of people are doing different things trying to just make to sure drive that, yes, for the pvc drive. Yes, to be, and, mm -hmm. and please please and please after the pvc a lot of people will actually get the pvc it shouldn't just be a form of uh, identity card you know, it shouldn't just be a form of identity card. Please, something. and if you know that you're going to relocate from wherever you are living right now mm. before the 2023 general elections in February, do us a favor. Do not use the current address. Use the address of the place that you're going to. If you know that you're likely to be in school, for example, go register in school. If you know that you're likely to be in your parents' house, please go register in that locality. And some of us that are think that we have even moved, you know, mm -hmm. we should go and do the uh, regular, validation. Yes, yes, because you know, I I, I got mine from the old, my my past, previous apartment. My, yeah. So, and this time around, I'm going to be voting around there, and I just hope that I will will not be disenfranchised again no but you know this time around what i right, went through the bamboja um system is going to be used um as against the um what's that card you guys use card reader yes as against the card reader that's, that's a system that was used in anambra and it worked, it worked. so agree. that's what they're going to deploy also to equity state elections this week and mind you the state uh, governorship election is taking place on the 18th of june that's just on saturday. on saturday and so we know that you're going to be um keeping in touch with whatever happened that day we're going to be giving you information as to what's going to happen and what will be it will be 
like a live update right here on MITV. So you wouldn't want to miss any part of our programming for that. So yes, sir, by the time they finish in Ikiti, and of course they try to not show next month, we would know where we are. Card readers can finally be jettisoned and then they use the we system. We move on. Mm. All right, all right. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there somehow. The system is and getting you know, it, it, Yes, yes. And in a situation where uh, we are voted at my own polling booth and mm. we can say, okay, this is the result recorded, you know, here. And As a matter of fact, they said the, re the result goes straight. That's what I'm saying. That's According what to the new electoral act. Oh, Tommy, say, I must tell you that nothing is impossible in Nigeria. When it comes to Nigeria, just let it be. So we have to be on top of our game. So all right we know we show that anki panky yeah we know, panky, we know what panky. we have here we know what we have there we know what we have there we know what we have there and we can you know when the results are out we can try to put them alongside together and see that uh, nothing you know uh, unfavorable has happened i think we are we're getting it right we're getting there you know someone was saying that ah blah and blah and blah i said nigeria we're still work in progress that we yes we try to, most right. of the time we try to compare ourselves with our foreign countries but we tend to forget the fact that nigeria is just a little bit over 60 years of age and a lot of these countries we are talking about are they, over 200 yeah years. yeah yeah and they have gone of their the, own independence anyway. yeah, because of the, and they have gone through their own uh, uh they've gone through their gutters some yeah. of them are even still in the gutters exactly. as we speak some of them are older than nigeria in terms of independence and they are not close to getting it right of course we try to compare nigeria with these countries because we're looking <clears> at the size but the republic <clears> of china that we say oh the, 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 similar <clears throat> demographics of course with the united states of america as well we are not talking about the same setting america is not our mates <laughs> <laughs> but i not think we are, we're, we're getting there we're, we're making our attempts we're getting there it keeps getting better and better and i, I think it sure. can only get better and i think we should we, we will get and i i want to okay. we, we will keep on employing uh people uh, citizens you know to get rid of uh, voters apathy and um, let us all you know m go out en masse and uh, decide um, who we want to be our leader come 2023 my name is Yinka Kenny. All right, as we go, <laughs> we're starting a new program today, 8.30 to 9.30. It's called Political Arena. You wouldn't want to miss any part of that. Just make sure you stay glued to your TV, a conversation like you've never seen before. And that's and 8.30 now, to 9.30 p.m. 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. every Monday. My name is Oluwato Misi. I'll see you again tomorrow morning, bright and early, on the Bumper Breakfast. Bye-bye.